Hi, good evening. In 568 days, I will attempt to qualify for the Boston Marathon on time. Uh, at a double qualifying marathon, the Rocket City Marathon in Huntsville, Alabama. So that hopefully I can make the lottery for either the 2023 or the 2024 Boston Marathon. I didn't post the video yesterday because yesterday was a rest day. And it's late. Uh, about 11 o'clock here on Friday night uh, because I didn't have the ability to get my miles in uh, earlier today, but I got them in tonight. Um, I was going to wimp out tonight. I was had a headache and I uh, was nauseated and feeling a lot of emotional weight from other things as well, but I decided to go ahead and stick with it. And thinking about this video yesterday, the rest day, I was going to talk about rest. And so I guess I will, so that I keep up with what I'm thinking. So, um, I received an Apple watch from my wife. Um, well, my fiance, I guess I should say right before our wedding in uh, 2016. And, uh, I've loved having a fitness watch, a smart watch tracking everything. And, um, because of my age uh, and my training schedule, I take two days off a week. Right now it's Thursdays and Sundays. Uh, doesn't mean I won't be active, but it means I won't actually do uh, uh, you know, a full on workout. Uh, and so I wrote to Nike after about a year of wearing the Apple watch and uh, wrote to Nike and Apple and said, you know, there ought to be a setting that he allows you to close your three rings for a day when it's a rest day. And they haven't responded. <laughs> and it may be a bad idea, but uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, I look at my the photographs of the screenshots of my uh, fitness rings, and you can tell which days I rested on. <laughs> um, but rest is important. Rest is the time that your muscles are rebuilt. Um, and uh, uh, digest food and all those other things that happen when you rest. And a rest day does so much. So I hope that rest days are built into your training schedule. And uh, I'll be back at it tomorrow.